Hey guys, it's Rec. Um, we're back in Bioshock. Last I checked, we were about to head into this room right here. Um, but we haven't actually gone in yet. So, first thing we need to do is send our weapons through the tube, as that was pretty much the last request of uh, our crazy friend that wants to um, meet us back here in the fisheries. Okay, sorry, I had to adjust the sound settings right there. But anyway, we'll about to run into this room, um, and I can go ahead and tell you it's going to be a boss fight. This That's a very boss fighty room. So, we're going to handle this in a very, very careful, very smart way. And the way we're going to handle this is by going in with our wrench and lightning. Zap that and hack it. Just auto hack it to make it a little faster. And then we're gonna run across the room. This. Ooh, did I get turned around? Yeah, I got you. I'm told that devil may be right back. The devil says, Sure thing, Mr. Fontaine. I'll hold you a spot. Ryan promised Fontaine was dust. And now here you are doing his dirty. I guess that makes Ryan a bum. And you a. Moo. So he's obviously not happy with us, and he's going to pop out and try to attack us here in a second. But we are slowly he was ours. Ours. planning things out. Go ahead and auto-hack this, and we need to get out of this window immediately, post-haste. First, we're going to switch to our telekinesis plasmid. We are going to wait a little bit. And we're going to go off this way. Come on, throw another one. Someone behind me, I believe. Get back here. Any more? Whoa, God! Yes, there's more. Switch back to Electro Bolt. Exactly. And that's that little fight sequence dealt with. Um pretty easy if you know exactly what's going to happen because all you have to do is uh, <laughs> hack that camera and then hack that turret and switch to telekinesis and throw his bombs back at him and it, it makes the whole affair very simple Are you afraid of me, monster? so let's do a little bit of looting and clean up around here it would also behoove us to get our weapons Stop back, Stop which... This out and fight me, you bastard. Uh, yeah. I'll deal with you in a second, don't worry. So let's get all of our weapons back. Sweet action, Jackson. Search again. I've been... I know, I've been forgetting to do that some reason. It'll let me search again on some courses, but it won't let me search again on other ones. So I'm probably going to end up replacing that, because Scrounger turned out to not be as good as I thought it was. Or I remembered it being, rather. But, uh... Regardless, this is our camera now, and we don't have to give it to him! Obviously. So let's see at the gene bank if I can swap anything out for Scrounger, because uh, it's really not helping me. Medical expert, yeah, might as well. That'll be a little bit better. So anyway, that part's sort of dealt with. Um, we've got a little vending machine we can hack here really quick, and I'll blow an auto hack on that to just expedite things a little bit more. Grab a couple of hypos of Eve. Um, I don't think I want a first aid kit just yet. I'll hold on to that extra 15 in case we need something else. But I'm kind of getting tired of this lady screaming at me. 
So I'll be up there in a little bit to deal with her. But first of all, we've got something new and cool to check out down here. Called a Power to the People station. And uh, just going to make sure I don't get ambushed while I'm doing this. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm good. Power to the People station. It is a weapon upgrade station. There are a lot of these. This is the first one. Um, where you can plug in uh, some sort of whatever you got and you'll get something back that's really awesome. What we're going to get first, though, is we are going to get the um, grenade launcher damage increase because it is handy and it is what we use to kill big daddies. So, frick. It is what we use to kill big daddies. So, um... That's obviously the first priority, because killing splicers is easy as everything else. And we really don't need to worry about killing splicers. I think this way is... You can't quit! Fontaine will find you! Hey, fuck Fontaine. You don't fuck Fontaine! Fontaine fucks you! Indeed. Fontaine fucks you. This is the way out. I kind of do a little, want to do a little bit more exploring before we head out of here. So I think I set the door on fire. That's weird. <clears throat> Hello. Frag grenade. <laughs> and that was a waste of ammo, but who cares? That was also a waste of ammo, but who cares? Oh god! Uh, let's pull our wrench out before I do any more dumb. Hello? Alright, I got rid of Scrounger. Good, finally. Don't have to worry about freaking double searching everything. Okay, so we got a quick save to hack. I'm hoping I'll be able to actually hack it instead of messing this up. I really hate hacking saves. They really don't take very long, but... Ugh. They're a lot more finicky than all the other hackables. But I think we got this one. We're good. There we go. Fontaine's putting the screws on us and double. He's squeezing us out of 80 points of our cut with the threat of turning us into Ryan if we don't play ball. Son of a bitch. Sammy G comes and tells me he's thinking of going to the constable. And the next day, Sammy G was found in a sack in a salt pond. We got no choice here. We stay on Fontaine's crew and we're gonna catch the gallows. We take powder and we end up like Sammy G. Oh, there's gotta be another way. Yeah. They did eventually find out that there was another way, and that way involved Andrew Ryan. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> eh. Anything of importance? Importance in here? Importance. I totally just said that word. There's a lot of random gas barrels that you could have probably ended up using in the uh, fight with Peach. But, uh, <laughs> I'd rather just use the explosive that, explosives that are a little bit more handy. Or, uh, on hand, so to speak. Fish! Look at the fish! Whack 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 the fish! Money, money, money! Money, money, money! Oh. Hello. Looks like you've had a bad day. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to happen. Okay, that was weird. I guess that noose wasn't secured very tightly. Um, I don't like being here. Let's let's keep looting so we can actually get out of here. Nope. 
Hello. All these people think I'm afraid of them. Oh boy, they're going to be in for a rough surprise in the next level. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. We have our research camera, so I get to start having barrels of fun. No pun intended. There's a lot of bullets in here. Hello. I'm guessing that's t two people they put on ice. Yeah! <laughs> I can't do the CSI voice, I'm sorry. Alright. So I think that's everything up here, and down there, for that matter. So let's go ahead and get on with it. Uh, we got a bit of the rest of the level to explore, and we gotta meet up with Atlas here in a little bit. So, let's knock this barrier down, with a little bit of overuse of, um, Eve. You got it. Should be smooth sailing from here. I'll meet you up ahead. Smooth sailing indeed. This is a bit of a mini-level, um, the Smuggler's Hideout. I, I don't count this as a level, this is sort of a, uh, a transition of sorts. From um, the early game into the middle game. Like, I, I divide the game in three parts. There's the early game, which is annoying, which I don't like. There's the middle game, which is hilarious. And there's the end game, which is just a riot. Alright, alright, hold your horses. We got a vitted chamber there. Um, a lot of really random stuff that we don't need. Oh, hey, look, a random bottle just fell down. Uh, a couple turrets over in the corner. I can get a little bit of Eve off of one of those if I hack it really quick. So let's do that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and done and done. We got a shotgun, a little bit more booze. Oh wow, we have extra e pipos now. That's lovely. I'm gonna burn that. Let's grab this one. So we have full and complete e. We all come down here. Figured we'd all be part of Ryan's great chain. <laughs> Turns out Ryan's chain is made of gold, and ours are the sort with the big iron ball around your ankle. He's up in Fort Frolic banging fashion models. <sighs> We're down in this dump yanking guts out of fish. Fontaine's promising something better. He's like a, one of us, you know? Like he's worked a day in his life. He says meet him at his fish packing joint at 11. I'll go. Bring a couple of guys. Hey, it's not like things could get a lot worse. <laughs> uh, it's not like things could get a lot worse. If only they knew. If only they knew. I can't see. Hit the switch up there in the control booth and let me in. I think it's time to shake hands and get acquainted. All right, so let's meet Atlas. You had your fun, but enough is enough. If you press that button, you'll learn what it means to truly be my enemy. 